Hey folks, Paul here for Hooka.org and I have a video how-to for you. This one is for how to smoke Jurak. Um, now, you should already have seen my write-up about what Jurak is and more or less how to handle this stuff. Uh, but the big problem here when it comes to smoking Jurok, and you can see that's basically the black void of space in there. It's about as dark as it gets when it comes to black molossal. Um, now, here, you know what? I'll just show you this. Stab it in there. That's what Jurok looks like most of the time. It looks like a burnt out hockey puck, um, which makes it very hard to pack. I mean, how do you take that and fluff pack it into a bowl? Well, I use a sharpened oyster fork that I get right in here and just essentially start scraping it off. Now, I hope you can see this is taking the large chunk of tobacco and breaking it up into much smaller chunks, which then I am able to fluff pack, oops, don't wanna lose that, uh, into the bowl. You're gonna have to probably still use your fingers a little bit, which makes them look like this. Yeah, nice and sticky and gross. But eventually, you end up with this, which, there we go, now you can kind of see it, um, is a nice, wide, shallow bowl filled with small little chunks of tobacco. It's filled pretty much right up to the top. That's gonna get pressed down just a little bit, but you wanna make sure that there's actual airflow. Like, you can see, just barely, right in there, you can see the holes of the bowl. So this will still smoke very well. Now the next step, is actually packing it up. I suggest a single layer of normal foil. No heavy duty, no double layers. Trust me, this stuff needs a lot of heat. Uh, on a bowl like this, I would actually probably end up using three full coconara or just coconut uh, block coals. Uh, so I'm gonna load that up and we will be right back and I will show you what kind of smoke you can expect from Jirak. Uh Real quick, I realized I didn't show you. This is how I poke holes for Jirak. It's very similar to how I poke holes for just about everything else. Um, but you want a lot of airflow. You want this to be wide open. The foil is really just here to keep the coals from directly touching the tobacco, but it's gonna be real close because this stuff needs crazy high amounts of heat. Uh, and yeah. You really just want to keep it from actually contacting and burning into nasty acrid smoke. So that's it. Be right back with the actual smoking session. Hey folks, we're back. Now, as you can see, the smoke from Jirak is a little thin and wispy. This is actually lighter than it probably should be. I haven't moved the coals in a bit. Um, but what really matters with Jirak is the flavor. That's what you should be focusing on. I, I prefer to personally use a leather hose, or at least the, a, um, an unwashable, so that I can allow the flavors to really soak into it and use the one hose for all black molossal and, uh, and uh, Jiraks. Now, the, um, the bowl that you saw earlier, I have three coconars on right now, and this is still how light the... Uh, um, the smoke is, and that is because there is absolutely no glycerin of any kind in Jirak, so you're going to be dealing with just molasses and tobacco and spices, and that's it. But that's really, that's kind of the rundown for uh, smoking Jirak. Now with storing Jirak, um, I suggest the refrigerator. I don't really keep any hookah tobacco in the refrigerator other than Jirak and things like Desi Morley because they will grow mold, which is really bad. And I'm going to be doing another video on mold prevention um, and the best possible way to actually store these things. But So look for that in the future. Uh, but make sure to go down below, like and subscribe, give us that thumbs up. Hopefully this will help you to enjoy a more classic tobacco from time to time. Mm. It definitely helps me to relax at the end of the day. So that's it. Uh, go to hookah.org. Please check out the forums there. Uh, you should probably sign up, participate in the conversations. We've got great information going up all the time. We've got new reviews, new uh, articles, and blog posts on there. So make sure to follow us. And that's about it. Happy smoking.